Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before you begin, I would just like to give a quick shout out to Zion Anderson. Hey, thank you so much for being the first to comment on my last video. So first I want to say excuse my voice if it sounds a little froggy. I am feeling a bit under the weather. But if you are new here, my name is Alex. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I upload videos every Monday and Thursday and sometimes I'll do a walkthrough tutorial. But today we're going to be doing another story time. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to be doing my nails and instead of telling you step by step instructions on what I'm doing, I'm going to be telling you a story. And today's story is sent in from a bestie and it is about a heartbreak. <laughs> so we've all had them ladies and this one gets pretty deep. So let's jump right in. Also really quickly, I just wanted to say that if you are interested in telling me your story so I can share them in my videos, you'll remain anonymous and your identity is safe with me. Check out my description box and my email as long as my Instagram will be linked in and you can easily shoot me an email or DM and I'd be happy to tell your story. But okay, let's jump right in. So I met this guy on one of those online dating apps. It seemed too good to be true. He was perfect. Everything we agreed on, politics, our views on life, the world, what we wanted our future to look like, everything. It all seemed too good to be true. We talked for about a month and then eventually met up for our first date. For our first date, he was a complete gentleman. He took me out to lunch and then from there, he took me to a park lit a fire and we sat by fireside and listened to the sounds of the lake and then after that we went to the movies it was perfect we spent all night together and he even wanted me to come back the next day it was truly love at first sight so we dated for a while our little rendezvous lasted for about i would say three months we went out on lots of dates and his work started getting really busy. So towards the end of our little rendezvous, I started planning the dates more. Everything was perfect. We had a specific day that we would meet up every week and watch movies. And we also went on dates every weekend. We made it a habit to always have a date night and we talked, texted every single day. In the beginning of our relationship, we talked on the phone almost every single night. Not for long, because we both had work, but just to say goodnight to each other. Those phone calls slowly started getting lesser and lesser, and he stopped calling me every single night. It bothered me, but I didn't want to say too much or start causing arguments already. As I said, he used to plan surprise dates, but his work started picking up, so I was the one planning the dates more. Now, to be fair, when I met him, he was on vacation, he did have a lot more free time, and I didn't really know what his work schedule would be like. Now, here's where things got a little bit tricky. I would say about two months into our relationship, he asked me to meet his parents. I was so excited. This has been the first time that I was in a long-term relationship since about four years ago. And let's pause for a second, because let's talk about that, ladies. How do y'all, some of y'all just be like getting in relationship from relationship and it'd be like long term and everything. How do y'all do that? Where do y'all find them at? It let me know because I'm sick of this. Like, I don't know what it is about relationships. It's just it never works for me either. So I feel you when it says, when you say like, it's been like years since you've had a long term relationship because me too. It's just like, I don't know. Is it, I I can't be made. <laughs> Maybe it is, but I just feel like it can't be me. <laughs> um, But let's continue. So he wanted me to meet his parents, and I agreed. He said that he really felt some way about me and that he wanted me to meet his family, friends, every single, everyone. I was super excited and happy, and as soon as he told me that, I just immediately started thinking of what I'm going to wear. I haven't met parents since I said four years ago in my last long-term relationship. But immediately after he told me he wanted me to meet his parents, he asked us to, quotation marks, stay the same. And I asked him to specify, what do you mean? When he said stay the same, basically he meant he still didn't want to put a title on whatever it was that we were doing. Red flag, 
but I let it go because he kind of distracted me by saying he wanted me to meet his parents. I should have took that as a red flag immediately. The following weeks come and everything is all fine and dandy until we got in our second big argument. Now, ladies, call me crazy, but this is what happened. Like I said, he has stopped answering my phone calls and we didn't talk on we and we didn't talk on the phone at night. But one night I called him just because I really wanted to hear his voice before I went to bed and he didn't pick up the phone. I went on Instagram a few minutes after that and saw that his status was active. Now, I wasn't being a creeper and trying to see if he was active or not. I just so happened to see it when I went to my DMs and I saw that he was active. So I knew for a fact he was ignoring me. I texted him. I said, yeah, call me in the morning because at that point I was just over it. So basically the next day it was just downhill from there. And this would be the last week that we ever talked. I told him that I wanted to talk to him, but I wanted to do it in person. And I asked him if he could bring the things that I had left over his house. I wanted to meet him halfway and just end it all. Reflecting back, that might have been too much and that might have been pushing it. But he was just throwing me too many red flags and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. But then when it came closer to the time to meet, I started to miss him and I started to feel like maybe I was doing the wrong thing. So a few days later, we ended up meeting up and it gets a little worse from here. I drive to his house and we went to go get dinner for the last time. We went back home, watched some TV and went upstairs and laid in bed. I started the conversation by saying, are you mad? After that, Long story short, we talked for a while, and then he told me his true feelings. At this point, we've probably been dating for, I would say, three months now, and I really thought this was the one. I didn't even think about seeing other people. I wasn't even interested. The thought of somebody else touching me disgusted me, and to this day, it still kind of does. He was older than me and he had just picked up a bigger deal. He had just picked up a big deal at work. He told me that he liked being with me, but he liked being alone better. Ouch. I'll never forget that day and I'll never forget those words because it really hurt me. Here I was, basically in love, not even thinking about other people And still to this day disgusted to even think of somebody else touching me because that's how much I felt for him. And for him to tell me that he liked being alone better. So I got up, I started collecting my things, and I told him to have a good night. He laid in the bed. He didn't say a word. He didn't even try to come after me. I walked down the stairs, put my shoes on, and I went slow because I wanted him to fight for me, but he didn't. And ladies, when a man tells you that he wants to be by himself and that he wants to stay single, believe him because he's telling the truth. So after that, I turned off the lights. I let myself out, still looking back to see if he was even trying to fight for me, but he wasn't. I walked to my car and I let it all out. And that's another thing. Never let them see you cry. Don't give them that satisfaction. That was the longest drive ever. I cried so much my whole ride home that I had to pull over because I couldn't even see straight. It hurts me so much to waste my time. And it hurt me so much because I have not put my heart on the line like that in a while. I'm usually a very strong person and stuff like this doesn't get to me. I never have deep feelings about people as much as I had deep feelings about him. But when I tell you our souls connected, and when I tell you I really thought that this was my end all be all, I saw a future with him. And I still see a future with him, even though he hurt me. And that's how I know that I was truly in love. It's crazy how time means nothing. Because I've been in relationships or I dated for longer, but this one was short. But when I tell you my heart is broken, my heart is broken. It's been a few months and I still think about it often. 
I probably cry still over this man about once a week. I feel like such a weak bitch. <laughs> but he hurt me. I try to date, but it still doesn't work for me. Any advice would be lovely. But yeah, this is my story. Bestie, let me tell you. First of all, to everybody listening to this, let's leave her some words of encouragement. Let's leave her some tips on how to get over heartbreak because I need it to, to be honest. I feel like you got to look at every experience as a lesson in order to get over it. As corny as it sounds, it's so annoying when people tell you everything happens for a reason. Like, no, life just sucks. Everything happens because people let it happen. Yes, there are situations where you realize in the future, like, oh, this had to happen because if not, I wouldn't have been here. And it sounds like one of those situations because every guy puts on his Prince Charming hat in the beginning. Then then they show you their true colors. I'll probably type some more of my feedback in the comments, but like I said... If anybody else is going through a heartbreak right now and wants to vent and let it out in the comments, let it out, girl. Anybody who's actually, like, happily married, leave your advice. I want to hear from y'all, too. If you're married happily, happily, okay, <laughs> and you've been married for a long time now, leave us some advice on how you knew he was the one and how you keep your marriage so happy. I'm single, I haven't dated in a while now, too, so I don't know. This is a good one. If you guys have any similar stories or any heartbreak stories or anything you're going through and want to let me know, like I said, send me an email or shoot me an Instagram DM. All information in the description box below. Also, I did start the email list on Google Forms. The link to that would be down below. It's super simple. All you do is click the link, type in your email, and submit it, and you're done. Um, so anybody that did subscribe, thank you. Thank you so much. But that is the end of this video. Today is Monday. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. I hope this week is wonderful for you all. And I can't wait to see you guys on Thursday. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 7k. We're almost at 8k and I can't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for all of your endless support and I will catch you on Thursday. Bye.